Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101 and now it's time for Case's weekly movie review. We're a little bit late. We usually do it around 8 o'clock on Friday. And this one is Mall Rats. And in case you're new to the show, Case the producer is 25 years old and I got tired years of making movie references and him not knowing what I was talking about. For example, Shawshank Redemption. Now we've seen it. Yes. Now you're a better person. Well, I understand why you do so many impressions from the movie Shawshank now. Because it turns out it's pretty good. Pretty good movie. Yeah. He's now seen Pulp Fiction. Uh Uh-huh. He's now seen... Also, pretty good movie. I Arguably the greatest movie of anybody alive right now of Mm. that generation. That's uh, the greatest movie of all time. Um, he's seen because Kenzie wanted to see Dirty Dancing. Mm-hmm. Why do you say it like that? All your movies were normal, and then this one's like, well, Kenzie, and then Kenzie wanted him to see Dirty Dancing. Because I didn't want him to see Dirty Dancing. <laughs> it's a classic. I just, I, <laughs> that is a classic movie. I'm yeah. adding that that's your classic, and it's not my classic. So those were my classic type movies. That's yours. We can be different. Well, fine. Then we'll just say Brian and Kenzie from now on. We'll label them. All the movies you all mean? All of them, because I don't know why mine are just getting labeled. Well, I watched The Money because of you, too. That yeah. wasn't on my list. That wasn't on Brian's list. Yeah. That's that's okay. a good one. It was it's, good. We're not saying it's bad. We're just different. It's different. Come it's, on. it's separate but equal. Yeah. It doesn't feel equal the way it's, 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 <laughs> you, you're, you're taking this. <laughs> it feels separate and unequal. <laughs> oh, so anyway, today he did Mall Rats because we announced Riot Fest and Riot Mike told us how this new Riot Land is, you know, a lot of the features in there are kind of based on Mall Rats in case you hadn't seen it. Of course, this is the uh, Jay and Silent Bob, you know, Kevin Smith uh, movie, a part of the universe of all their movies. There was a little bit of an argument before he did this that he had to see Clerks first. Mm -hmm. Um, We decided to forego that and say, screw it, you're going to see this first. So this was the trailer for Mallrats back in... 1995. 1995. For some reason, I thought it was 97 for a second. It's almost 30 years old. How does that make you feel? Terrible. (laughs) Uh, Here it is, the trailer for Mallrats. I've never met a person who lives in as much fear of his mother as you do. You want I should tell my mother what we do in here at night? What, that you play video games and I fall asleep unfulfilled? (laughs) She calls you callow in here. You say that like it's bad. Well, it means frightened and weak-willed. That was the only part of the letter I thought was complimentary. (laughs) This is Brody's private hell. Where the hell did that come from? What's going on here? And these... Brody man, (laughs) noochie-noochies! ...are his friends. You said it was a good size. When a girl says it's a good size, it's a nice way of saying that it's small. What else did you expect from the director of Clerks? Hey! (laughs) God, this is so funny to hear now in today's lens of having seen Clerks at that time and then Mallrats, but not remembering now that voiceover guy from the maker of Clerks. (laughs) (laughs) Because Clerks was certainly groundbreaking. This is so 90s, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mallrats and Clerks and all the Kevin Smith stuff, it's so nostalgic. I just love the, and these are his friends. Like, oh, yeah, let's see this movie. Even though it's not the inner world world guy, it's still, trailers were still better back then overall. I love a narrated trailer. I think that's, a lot of, you know how like everything comes back, okay? You got like fanny packs and, you know, bell bottoms, all sorts Mm. of stuff. We the narration of movie trailers should come back. I think people would have so much fun with That's that. That's a good take. I like Don't that. Don't you think so? They just have now like quick clips and some kind of dramatic oh. mu- music, you know, like I think it would grab people's attention if a new movie did that cuz you'd be like, "Oh, wait, I remember." Like, I yeah. think it would make people all excited. I think they should do it. The next uh I'm trying to think of the next movie coming. What's the next big movie coming out? Is there Bad anything? Boys should have had narration. Okay. <laughs> Check out Will Smith after the slap in Bad Boys 4. They're still bad. <laughs> see, I'd go see that. Right? I'd be all in on I'm that. I'm like, oh my God, they're still bad? It's been years. <laughs> Wait a minute. Whoa, are, hold your horses. Aren't they too old to be bad now? Oh, That's amazing. We're going to find out. It's okay. Small Rats, a movie. By the way, there's little stats here for you back in 95. It had a $6 million budget, which was... For some movies in that world of coming off Clerks, I can see they gave a little bit more than usual. Uh, but then the, they only made $2 million at the box office. We consider it a big movie because it's, it's definition. And this was a blockbuster type movie that people would say, you've got to see Mall Rats. And it became huge in a cult movie because of video stores. Yeah, I guess before I share my thoughts, Brian, I was kind of curious if you remembered this movie coming out or remembered your first impression of seeing it or hearing about it. So I did see it in the theater. Um, and, Naturally. Well, you're you, right. You, you were one of the $2 million. I, I certainly paid my ticket. That's right. And I was, when Clerks came out, you know, I was so 
blown away. It was, in a way, a, a change of how movies were going to be made. Kind of like Pulp Fiction did that same yeah. thing in the early 90s to mid 90s when movies, these pivotal movies came out and you could actually do that. So Mallrats, looking forward to it, was, uh, you know, something just like, wow. But then it's not like Clerks, really, in a way at all. Because Clerks is more like a documentary. Okay. Yeah. I didn't see Clerks, so I'll take your word for it. You got to see Clerks uh, after Picnic Weekend. Cl- Clerks is all black and white, isn't it? It is. Okay, crazy. What? Yeah, it looks like a documentary. <laughs> when did it come out? 92, I think. Just before this, yeah. Right before Color? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Before right. Color. Color TV was invented in 1993. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. And then, then the remote came, of course. Yeah, no, what a, what a big year that was for TV. It was all for the vibe of it to make it, of course, look like it was a documentary of a guy hanging out working at a, at a video store. Oh. Yeah, you got to see it. You gotta see that too. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do a screening of a clerks at picnic this weekend. We'll put it up on the jumbo. That would be fine. Let's do it in the lounge. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Well, there's perfect. There's snacks everywhere. Uh, I'll watch that. I got YouTube Premium. We can all huddle around my phone <laughs> and watch clerks. <laughs> <laughs> Listeners are coming up. They're like, hold on, hold on. Can you duck? I can't see. All right, Casey. So, what do you think of mall rats? So. As we've discussed for, you know, three months now, I've been on this journey of, of watching classic movies, big movies. Last week, we did Saving Private Ryan, and I I liked Saving Private Ryan. I can see uh, from an objective standpoint that it was a very good movie. But I don't know what it says about me that watching a movie like Saving Private Ryan is a little bit of a chore. Whereas when I watch Mallrats, I'm like, this this is a movie. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Mm. This movie is so much fun. What a good time this was, and only 90 minutes, too. Well, that's what I was going to say. Did you like it because it was only an hour and a half? It helped. It, it definitely helped. I, I thought this movie was a lot of fun, even if I am once again perplexed by the fact that it just seems like there is an entire genre of movies out there dedicated to the fact that kids just had nothing going on up until maybe like 10 years ago. Okay, that's a that's an unbelievably insulting statement about us 90s kids. No, because that's what it was good. There actually wasn't that much going on. You just would leave. Well, like, actually, there was so much more going on. The problem is today is you're bombarded. I'm not going to sound like the man waving at the cloud, <laughs> fist in the air. But there was no phones. Like you had to go to someone's house. Uh-huh. You know, you had to go. You had to go places to hang with people. You couldn't hang by texting or just FaceTiming. What a time to be a parent. Oh, like. All right, we'll see you later, you know, because now they're just there. They're like, I'm on a headset with them. Yeah. It's like, oh, crap. That's what I don't get. <laughs> <Their is. headset>. <laughs> 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 These kids, for those that haven't seen the movie, I guess, kids are just in a mall for an entire day. Absolutely. <laughs> I would, so, Case, you would never, because I'm, like, on the cusp. I'm 29, mm-hmm. so I I did this in, like, junior high and stuff like that. Yeah. You never went to the mall with your friends for the day. No. There's still the, Not here's, for the day. I went to go. I went to go get a pair of shoes and then go home and be on my phone. We well, have to understand. Malls had movie theaters, mm-hmm. food courts, walk around shopping. They like, had a pet store in this mall. There you go. And I was curious if that was normal or not because I had never seen a pet store in a mall before. There used to be everything in malls. I used to go to merry-go-round at the mall. Weird. Rides. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kenzie's right because you saw the movie. You shopped. You go, okay, let's go eat something now. Let's go uh-huh. to the food court. We're done eating. Let's go over this other thing. Let's hang out and chill. And that's what mall rats represents so well in the 90s. It feels like prison. Also, no, because you can't, like, listen. <laughs> prison. <laughs> that's what prison it is. It was freedom because you weren't, like, your parents weren't there. And you, there's, you're there's you at this huge place where you do all this stuff for a full day without parents. It was, it was the opposite of prison. Huh. Because you're at home and it's like, can I have this? Like, you're at the mall. <laughs> and you just do what you want. Yes. It was awesome. <laughs> I, I'll take your word for it, I guess. I mean, I could look past the fact that, again, it's a it's a Saturday, Easter weekend, mind you. The Easter Bunny's there. <laughs> they right. beat up the Easter Bunny in the movie. <laughs> it's a great scene. And none of these kids have anything going on. I, it just it, it blows my mind. I love the fact that, you know, the, the primary couple in this movie is Jason Lee, who I love because not only was he a professional skateboarder, which rocks, but also My Name is Earl is one of my favorite shows of all time. Yes. So it's Jason Lee and Shannon Doherty, who was later in the show Charmed, a show I also am a big fan of. But you might remember her from Beverly Hills 90210. I don't. You don't? I know her from Charmed because my girlfriend likes that show. Okay. You may have to watch and binge every episode of Beverly Hills 90210 before next Friday. You just might have to do that. Well, okay. Can I forget picnic this week? <laughs> right. yeah, you can't go to picnic. Okay, so you have to come be 
Brian and I picked it because Case has got to watch. The My episode. phone doesn't have enough battery to watch all the Beverly Hills 90210 episodes. And Clerks. <laughs> and Clerks. Me first. I, I want to talk about Mall Rats, but can I ask you about Beverly Hills 90210 real quick? Sure. What was that? I, well, we can't do that right now. <laughs> because I've heard that show mentioned, and I like old TV. Is it a doctor show? I no, thought it was a, it's not I a thought doctor. It was a reality show. What's the doctor show? Oh my god! ER, I think is what you're thinking. <laughs> no, of. the one. Uh, I thought there was a doctor show called that. Nine hundred two one zero. It was a big doctors running down the hallway. What's the big doctor one? Are you thinking of nine one one? No. There might be a nine hundred two one zero plastic surgery show or something on Discovery. Oh, but I thought Ber- it was about doctors. No, Beverly Hills nine hundred two one zero. Follows, I'll try to do this in 10 seconds. <laughs> How can I do this in 10 seconds? Follows a group of rich kids and... Uh, We're doctors. <laughs> no, there's no... <laughs> Their parents are doctors. <laughs> but it involves Brandon who moves from Minnesota out to Beverly Hills and sees this whole new life of the rich kids of L.A. of Beverly Hills uh-huh. and how he tries to fit in with his sister, Shannon Doherty, and who they hook up with. And... Is this a reality show? No, it's a oh, real show. See, I thought it was a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> about doctors. <laughs> Please, Jesus, help me. Please. <laughs> so, it's, and you brought this on yourself because I was ready to, to continue talking about Shannon Doherty and you brought up Beverly Hills well, 90210. You, but you can't say Shannon Doherty was in Charmed. But she was. She was, but you can't not mention Beverly Hills 90210. I only know her from Charmed. So and she's her delightful. father or mother's a doctor. <laughs> I'm actually trying to remember what the dad was in Beverly Hills 902 because he might have been a doctor. He I can't remember what his job was. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Anyways, anyways, I love this idea <laughs> that Jason Lee and Shannon Doherty break up because Jason Lee, for some reason, won't sleep with her. He's too busy playing NHL 94, which is one of the greatest video games of all time. Correct. That there's a constant argument in this movie of like, hey, this is my mall. You can't shop here when I'm here. And I love the scene where Jason Lee goes, all right, I'll take them all on the even days. You take them all on the odd days so we don't <laughs> run into each other. That is super charming to me, even if it's completely not relatable. Well, it's relatable because it shows how popular, like Kenzie was just saying, the mall was. Uh-huh. You had to actually choose a day to go to to avoid the person. That's crazy. I just, I I would never even think about that if I you know, were to break up with somebody now, which hopefully that never happens because I'd be very lonely and very sad. Speaking of people that are lonely and sad. <laughs> we can just put up all day. I know, it? exactly. Yeah. Uh, ben Affleck is in this movie? Yes. I was not expecting that. So they love Ben Affleck in the whole universe of the movies that uh, Jay and Silent Bob do. He's almost in every one of them. Uh, was he famous by this point? Was it like, oh my God, Ben Affleck's in this movie? Um, Not near. He was getting famous and... Not to the level of he couldn't be in Mallrats, let's say that. Okay, okay. He was also in Days to Confuse around like that time. a popular actor, but yes. not, okay. Yeah. Okay. It was pre-Armageddon. Mm. Was, I haven't seen Armageddon. Okay. That does, that does me no good. <laughs> <laughs> it's about doctors. <laughs> this is, this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Armageddon sleepy from all <laughs> Lord help me, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Sorry. Anything else about mall rats? I thought Ben Affleck stole the movie. You know, Jason Lee is great. He he was a star. I can't believe he wasn't a bigger star. Shannon Doherty was great. She was a star from Charmed and allegedly Beverly Hills 90210. Allegedly. I think she should have been a bigger star because she is I, so beautiful. I was so charmed by her the entire movie. But Ben Affleck's alpha aggro character was the perfect foil for everybody in this movie. And I thought Everybody played off of him so well. Thank you to Michael who just texted in. Dr. 90210 is a plastic surgery reality show. <laughs> Obviously, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, it has nothing to do with Shannon Doherty. I feel much better. Oh. I'm like, I really think it's about plastic surgery. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, there you go. There's your Mall Rats review. Oh. Oh. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We will see you at Picnic tonight, 5 o'clock. And then all weekend, of course, uh, from noon till whenever the music stops. All Q101.com where all the bands. You've got locals Frico and Local H and Sincere Engineer and the beaches. And so much you can see all weekend. Lucky Boys Confusion. Oh, my guys, Lucky Boys on Sunday. And all day music and festivities, food, drink, $10 at the door for a donation for the neighbor for the Taste of Randolph. Very easy. You don't need to worry about tickets. You can be a last-second decision. Come on down the picnic one, two, or all three days. 
Uh, takeaways from the week of shows. Case, what do you got? Mike in Elmwood Park checked in. He said, growing up, Brian was so rich that he had a two-story house, but not a terrace. It's a very nice life. It was really great. Oh, you're West Wing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kenzie? Uh, Jesse Texas said, takeaway. Last weekend, Brian got hit on by a nice-looking woman, so he turned around and hit on a guy at the park. <laughs> that was my week. It's been a pretty good week. ABC's a view. Uh, finally, Double Features Mike sums it up nicely. Takeaway from the week. Mud baths and cock cracks. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so you want to know what this stuff's about? What do you do, Case? Oh, you go to the Brian and Kenzie podcast, which if you listen to a podcast, it's probably on the same platform that Brian and Kenzie are on. Today, uh, just uploaded the movie review of the week this week, which was Mall Rats, which I had never seen before. A delightful conversation, not only about that movie, but also about Beverly Hills 90210. Earlier today... Brian shared a story about his dad that he's never shared before. If you didn't already think Brian's dad was a legend, you will after hearing that. <laughs> and so much more. An entire week of funny stuff. The Brian and Kenzie podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts already. Go do it. We'll see you at Picnic. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.